Hello everyone, uh, my name is Manny, or I'm known as Manny4356 on YouTube. I do bass covers on YouTube, been doing it since I picked up my first bass about five years ago, five and a half years ago. Uh, I got a request for Lauren from Lawrence Mosley, I'm uh, sorry if I mispronounced her last name, on how to play uh, two uh, songs by Run DMC. So we're, uh, you requested how to play King of Rock and... What was the other one? Oh, Raisin Hell. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to play those. Uh, really, really easy, easy songs. But you asked for a video demonstration, so I'm gonna show you. We'll start with um, King of Rock. So there's only one one riff you need to know in in to play the song, and it's this one. Oh, I'm I'm using an acoustic bass because I just got home from work and it's kind of late, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this guy. So, uh, King of Rock go something like this all right so here's the first part I'm gonna teach you so the first part you need to know is this so this is all on the E string so what I'm doing is hitting the third fret of the E string hit an open E string and then hit another hit the same third fret so oh I'm sorry you're, you're hitting that uh, that twice so on the, after the open E so it's so third fret open E string and two strikes on the third fret of the E string and then what you're going to be doing next is this so what I'm doing there is you hit the uh, fifth fret of the E about five times, and then you're doing so third fret of the A string twice and fifth fret of the A string. So I'm gonna do that again. So, you put that all together, and it goes like this. What you can also do, after you, you do your thing with the 3rd uh, fret here, instead of hitting the 5th uh, fret of the E string, you can use open A string about 5 times. So what you can do is this. So put it all together and it goes like this. So uh, the main thing you need to know about um, Run DMC songs that involve like guitar and bass and any of that stuff with the bass guitar parts um, you have to play along with the rhythm section of the guitar so you're not always going to be playing that entire riff the entire song so you're going to be hearing certain uh, notes uh, done by the guitar so you can easily follow those on bass so um, if you got you got enough uh, good hearing skills you should be able to figure out where exactly you're going to be playing along with the bass guitar so uh, that covers uh, King of Rock. So just rewind the video and uh, look over the parts again. If uh, if at any time I'm not clear, please let me know. Like I'm doing this all in one take, so I don't have an, I can't edit my videos. Like I don't know how to do that. All right, now we're gonna move on to the other song you requested, which is uh, Raisin Hell. So the I actually just learned this. Like I didn't even know how to play it until I just got home from work. Looked on the tabs online, and uh, yeah, it's really easy. So, the riff you're going to be playing is this.
So you start out with hitting the, uh, the fifth fret of the E string twice. Really simple. And then what you're going to be doing after that, you're going to be hitting it three more times. And then you end that with the uh, with striking the uh, third fret twice. So it goes like this. And then after that, so actually here, so far we've got this. After that, you're going to be hitting the third fret once and then the first fret twice. So I'm going to do that one more time. Third fret once, first fret, first fret twice. And then finally, first fret and third fret. So let's put that together. I'm going to do it slow. Oh, sorry. Let me get my thoughts together. All right, so pretty easy stuff. Um, Raising Hell is a little bit different. Um, you have to really, uh, again, like I cannot emphasize this enough. You have to follow the rhythm section of the guitar, like, and to figure out what notes you're gonna be playing along with the rhythm. Like, just memorize what the frets sound like when you strike them, and just follow that with the uh, with the rhythm guitar parts of the song. And yeah, you should not have any problems uh, learning the entire song. Like, once you've got the rhythm parts down on the song. Playing along to this should be easy. All right, Lawrence, uh, that's it for the tutorial. I hope I did a good job explaining this song to you. If you need me to uh, redo this video for you, just uh, let me know. And for anybody else watching this, I hope I was able to teach you a thing or two. Um, other than that, thank you very much. I'll see you guys around. Let me know if you got any more requests for any songs you need to learn. Bye-bye.